binafsi nina watu wengi sana ninaofahamiana nao ambao tumejuana kwenye kipindi hiki cha zaidi ya miaka kumi na mitano ya kufanya kazi hii. Wengi wao hushare story zao mbali mbali za maisha yao yaliyojaa kupanda na kushuka nami. Sote tunajua maisha ni milima na mabonde na kila siku kuna mafunzo mapya katika maisha yetu. Hizi ni baadhi ya hizo story ambazo watu hawa hukutana au wamekutana nazo katika maisha yao ambazo zitakufanya usome, uwaze au uangalie vitu kwa umakini zaidi na pia kujifunza. Mimi ni salama. Hawa ni rafiki zangu na sote tunakukaribisha wewe kwenye salama na Waswahili wanasema kila mbuzi kula kwa urefu wa kamba yake. Hmm. Wanajiuliza kila siku. Yaani Anyways, lakini mwisho wa siku mbuzi anakula. That's the most important thing. Make sure you eat hujambo karibu kwenye meza ya salama na kwenye meza hii huwa tunakutana na watu mashuhuri ambao bila shaka wanawatengenezea watu siku zao kwa sanaa zao ama misaada yao ama mambo yao ama maneno yao ambayo huwa wanasema katika jamii yetu hii ambayo inatuzunguka mara nyingi wanakuwa rafiki zangu na mara nyingine wanakuwa ni watu ambao nawafahamu mimi na huyu mgeni wa leo tushaikusana mara hiyo moko ambao mimi naikumbuka mm kachini tukaongea tukapanga panga ingawa jambo letu halikuwa mm. lakini kwa kiasi fulani niliweza kujua yeye ni mtu wa aina gani wakati tunafanya homework homework yangu jina lake likawa linakuja mara nyingi sana kwamba bwana huyu mtu atatufaa na leo yuko kwenye meza yetu hivi mm. nisemeje utanisaisha kama nimekosea yes. karibu kwenye salama na deo sasa deo wako wengi ye yeah, mwenye atatuambia ye ni deo yuko <laughs> Vipi? <laughs> Asante sana. A, mimi niko sawa. Mzima kabisa. Mungu mwema. Hivi pale kwako hamna kabisa kitana na, na shanuo pale. Ah, kwa kweli hapa mjini natakiwa kweli uangalie unapunguzia wapi matumizi. Kwa hiyo umeamua iwe hapo. Hapo eh. Hivi chanuo bega ni mimi nitakuchukulia nitakuchukulia deo. Kiasi gani? Pia unaweza kaamua ubali matumizi ya muda. Okay. Za nini usichane hizo nywele wakati baadaye maisha atakupiga utazivuruga tu. Kwao inavyoonekana kama kuna kipara kinakuja hivi deo. Si udale ni mchunguzi yeye. You know this is actually the first time nilipata mtu akakikundua kabla mimi sijasema na sio kinyozi. It's obvious. Yeah. It's coming. Hapo you know. itakuwa kama uwanja wa ndege wa Bukoba. Ah, <laughs> But I'm, I'm not given up. Bado ninapambana nacho. Don't. And unajua dawa yake ni nini? Mm-hmm. Usikate nywele. Mm. I'm telling you dawa yake trim tu. Ukikata hizo, zikirudi yeah. zinaanzia hapa. <laughs> Ukikata tena zikirudi zinaanzia huko. Tena <laughs> <laughs> bado napambana na ambiwa sijui nini. Mafuta si ya kufanya nini, sijui kula nini. Eh, eh tuna tuna nani tuendelee kuonekana. Mm. Anyways, karibu sana Deo. Asante <laughs> sana. Kwa watu ambao hawakufahamu, can you please tell them <clears throat> wewe ni nani na unafanya shughuli gani? Okay. Kwa majina naitwa Deo Gratius. Manito wetu Simboya. Uh, mimi ni Tanzania. <clears throat> ni mchaga ambaye amezaliwa Ifakara. Kwa hiyo <laughs> nikienda uchagani wanaliita Ichomba. Maana sijui Kichaga. <laughs> kwa mimi nasemaga ni mchaga wa Nyerere kwa sababu si ndo ali distribute watu. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. So um, mimi sasa hivi ninachokifanya ni <coughs> niko kwenye sanaa ninafanya vitu viwili specifically kwenye sanaa uh, stand up comedian lakini ni, 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 ni actor pia but the bigger picture kwenye hiyo sanaa mimi ni storyteller ni mtu anayesimulia hadithi jamii zote zina watu wanaosimulia hadithi so there is something very important kwenye stories so i personally was trained ka kunili nili 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 soma sheria uh, miaka minne and then after that nikapata nafasi scholarship ya kusoma masters ya sheria hiyo sasa nilipoenda kusoma hiyo masters Italy pale ndo tatizo lipoanzia sasa hiyo hiyo kama tulikuwa tunaisema ya hapa where you feel like Sasa mm. maisha mbona kama mimi sielewi yanapoenda na sio kwa maana ya kwamba eti siwezi kuwa mwanasheria au nimefail kwenye sheria du ila ila tu kwa maana ya kwamba it, hiki kitu sioni kama kinanipa fulfillment sasa kwa Kiswahili fulfillment sijui ni nini 
kinanipa tuseme raha tu. raha ya amani Masile, amani na kujisikia kwamba kuna kitu kweli unakifanya mm-hmm. badala tu ya kuepo kwenye, kwenye mfumo so hapo sasa ndo nilipo decide toke okay, kipindi hicho niko kule kwamba i will stick to comedy na mimi comedy nimeanza secondary school, uh, primary secondary chuo nimefanya kidogo na actually um, nilishindanaga kwenye talent search ya stand up comedy ambayo iliandaliwa na mkuku ndio ndio yes congratulations thank you very much well, was was there money involved in it there was money involved oh, and i won the money oh. <laughs> do you still have it and who say was there any you know you get shit gani where your story hiyo hapo mimi nishakaa dar salaam nimekimbia kwetu ifakaa nimekuja sasa hivi dar salaam nimekuja nimeshaangaika hapo na uza vile vidumu vile unajua zile ile kampuni siku unaweza kuitaja forever <laughs> tafuta cc sana ukileta watu wawili na watu wawili ukileta watu wawili it's a good business it's a good business if you, if 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 is if, if, if your thing it's it's your thing mimi nijifunza mengi sana on that sasa baada ya kuangaika hivyo ndani nikasikia radio ni once bana eh, kuna hii hapa ya kuchekesha Okay, nikaenda kushirikia mbagala kule, did my audition there and then it went on kama mara nikaperform kama mara tatu hivi ya mwisho ikawa finali, nikaibuka mshindi bwana. Hela ilikuwa ni shilingi milioni mbili. Hiyo ndio milioni mbili ya kwanza kuitengeneza. Kile kinaonyesha kwamba Mungu naye hapo nimeondoka mchana nyumbani, nimeenda kushiriki mashindano, nimefuli. Unajua ile you are the bottom yani njai na uma unachikaza. Maskini. And then nikaundua kumbe bana njai depends ukiwa una hela e, ukiwa una hela njani notification kabisa ni notification tu una njaa mm, ila ukiwa una hela hii inatusimanga so when i got the money nikasahau hata kuhesabu na it was a beautiful experience and that is ile shindano i always tell this to everyone kwamba that was very big for me kwa sababu nilipofika nilipofika Italy na kupitia hiyo situation nikagundua kuna hiki and naweza nikafanya zaidi kwenye jamii ninaweza nikasaidia au nikachangia zaidi kupitia comedy kuliko sheria nice. so that's that's the short story of how i began my career mm. fantastic sehemu nimesoma wanasema kwamba wewe ni mtoto wa kishua yani ni mtu ambaye wa silver spoon <laughs> inakuaje uli 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 uliishia huko kwenda sehemu unanjaa ujala kuhangaika E, ni kwa sababu ya machaguo ambayo ulichagua kwenye maisha yako mm. e, na ikawa ikawa disappoint wazazi wakaamua waka kusema au au, au we mwenyewe ulisema nataka nifanye mwenyewe okay um, first of all uh, mimi sio silver spoon and and i uh, nas, nashukuru sana nimepata nafasi ya kuliweka hilo sawa mimi uh, mimi ni, ni zao tu la watanzania ambao waliamua tu kujiamini wakaanzisha kitu ambacho kilista hiyo kuanzisha mimi nikapita kwenye huo mfumo nikapita vizuri ndio maana naonekana kama silver spoon mimi mimi nimezaliwa mimi nimezaliwa ifakara um, babangu mimi ni daktari wa kawaida kabisa sio hata specialist or something ni medical doctor wa hospital inaitwa St Francis iko kule ifakara yeah so mimi nimeze babangu alikuwa ni mfanya kazi uh, hospitali mamangu ni afisa wa serikali mtu wa uh, ni dara uvuvi right so typical very middle class kind of family ni kwambe zisi gari imenunuliwa kwanza mimi nipo form 2 na nielewa mm. it's not a silver spoon ila there is something which nilikuja kujifunza baadaye and i actually called nilimpigia mzee wangu because i was very proud sikuipata wakati inatokea mimi bana wa, mzee wangu baada ya na wenzake kuwa wameenda kwa ajili ya kariya zao sasa mambo ya udaktari huko ifakara <laughs> wakiwa pale kuna institute pale ya ya, ya ku um, dili na malaria wanafanya research za mbude za like a very big research uh, institute pale sasa pamoja na wale wa wazungu walio kuepo pale na nini wakuna kabisa wata, ni swala la ndo nyumbani au tuko muda mrefu sasa tunafanyaje kwa hiyo kilichotokea ni mzee wangu mimi na na, na mzee mwingine anaitwa dr shubi wao what they did is walikusanya wazazi naona mambo haya mm. bana kwani tusiteneze shule fulani hivi ambayo fresh yani ambayo watoto watafit kwenye kwenye mfumo ambao una una yani wa dunia and stuff okay sawa tufanye tunatakiwa tufungue english medium na nani wazazi wakakusanyana hizi hizi tata kaomba vibali he he wazungu wale waliokuwa nakuja pale changia changia wazazi changia changia 
mimi ndo nikaanza darasa la kwanza kwenye hiyo shule inaitwa Ifakara English Medium Primary School au kama inavyojulikana kule Lupa Lumemo United Parents Association which is the thing that started that school yes. so mimi nimesoma pale kwa hiyo hata hicho kiingereza labda ndo kinasoma sisi watu wajue ni simba zikuni ana lote ni 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 ni, ni tu kwamba nilikuwa exposed kwenye hawa mazingira muda huo alafu sasa kipindi hicho cha cha ITV wakaga na kaga patience Hmm. na isidingo Indeed. naona siyo kwa mimi kukodolea macho pale na kwa sababu na interest ya movie na nini so nika hmm. <laughs> basi nika nika ni so i took that ni hivyo sasa na i think pia ni ukiwa uk, as an artist kwa sababu ya taste ya nini you always pushing things tuna leo msanii kuna vitu vitu ile <laughs> kitanzania ndio inaitwa uzungu sio hii <laughs> inaonekana kama ni 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 ni, ni nani fulani ambao wanao watu watu fulani i think that is kilichosababisha mpaka mimi nikaonekana labda ni silver spoon mm. lakini no mimi ni kawaida so 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 maisha kawaida kabisa so haya mambo ya ya, ya kuja kufanya hizi uh, biashara nyingine au mimi kusema niko niko na njaa kabisa ilikuwa ni kipindi nimemaliza chuo sasa wewe umeshasoma sheria miaka minne mzee wako ni mchaga ameisha kupeleka shule umesoma vizuri <laughs> hey, miaka minne unaelewa yeah. so and then after those four years unaanza kuona kama hii 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 kama mm, sawa inaenda vizuri na mimi fact hata sheria nilipo click nayo ni click nayo kwenye philosophy ya sheria Nona ni mambo ya kufikirika fikirika usanii fulani hivi mm. <laughs> sio like the practice and stuff so nikiwa pale when, when i was there na nikaona kabisa sitachukua hii path okay nikajua kabisa kwamba okay one of the things ambao vitakushikilia ni pale ambapo unawategemea hao wazee then they can dictate si huko kwenye budget yao <laughs> kwa mimi nika nilikuwa na wewe rafiki yangu ambaye ndo aliambia mambo ya forever na John i left kaje na salam sasa baada ya kumaliza for freedom purposes mm. ehe niachie wewe ukapiga zim nyumbani wakati ufuate utaratibu wa kinacho expectiwa uwezi ukapiga sim nyumbani <laughs> na sikuwa nataka kupiga hiyo sim nyumbani kwa sababu ningebe wewe si urudi tu <laughs> yeah. au au ufanye kitu kingine so yeah imekuwa na, na madha yake but it's also been a beautiful thing um ndio hivyo ikaenda nikajipata hapo nilipojipata na forever nikajua okay mimi ni mtu aina gani vitu gani naweza kufanya so i just found out what works for me au kile ambacho mimi naweza kufanya vizuri na Mungu alinionyesha ndio nikapita nacho six i think six seven years later eh hey, mimi ni siva spoon yako <laughs> yeah pengine kwa kwa watu wengine mbele ya macho mengine hivyo deo cuz kuna watu wamezaliwa wazazi wao sio madaktari mm-hmm. mama yake sio mtumishi wa serikali mm-hmm. ambao kuna eh uhakika wa income mwisho wa mwezi wengine wanajitafuta so alhamdulillah kwa kwa, kwa kila alhamdulillah kia. yeah unadhani ukiwa haupo na washikaji zako wale wa, wa watubaki what do they say about you Number one, silver spoon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, okay, I think when, um, I think one of the things that they can say for sure, kuna mengi na zingola, lakini one that they cannot doubt is my passion. Mapenzi yangu na kitu ambacho nakifanya. Yes, sasa mshua kwa sababu nimeshaisikia ukinizungumzia kabisa. Yaani usi unajua kuna vitu ambavyo mtu anasema hapa najua hapa ah ndo anachosemaga. Yeah. Especially labda tukiwa tuna film kitu inakuwa ah deo atataka kurudia tu, atataka ifanye sio nini. So I think the fact ya kwamba mimi nimefanya hiyo transition na nafikiri na mimi pia ninavyo operate with the with the little that I have. Hicho hicho kidogo nicho kwa nacho ninavojaribu kimultiply na ninavyo dedicate muda wangu I am very sure they will talk about my passion. Nice one. Yes. What do you do for them? Yaani kwa sababu unajua hiyo tutaenda mbele kidogo kama utajisikia kunielezea. Mm, yeah. But wewe role yako ni nini? Cuz mm. eh watu baki ni watu ambao walibaki kutoka kwenye kitu ambacho kilikuwa kwa mwanzo. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. E, tutazungumzia hiyo baadaye if you feel like it but nataka no hapa uniambie wewe ni nani kwa wao kwa watu baki. What is your role? Okay. 
mimi ni mtu baki <laughs> namba moja na hiyo nafasi iko kwa kila mtu okay pia leo nipata nafasi pia ya kuzungumzia watu watu baki ime imekaa kama ni watu waliobaki baada ya watu kutoka okay hizo ni scans yes. yes and we also played the story about konayo lakini utu, watu baki au watu baki it's not about that watu baki ni ku e, utu baki ni kuamua kugeuza kidole kutoka hivi hmm. kwenda hivi it's just taking responsibilities yani wakati kila mtu anasema Ah bongo hii kama iwezekani hivi ah ile ijakaa sawa utubaki is to just go down and see kujirudia wewe na kujiuliza hivi <laughs> kweli mimi nini hapa ambacho naweza nikakifanya kwa mfano mtubaki naye mjua mimi ni mzee wangu eh ifakara na nini I'm going to find mambo utubaki hapa tuleta mm-hmm. english medium mm-hmm. so so that is what i've been raised through and that is what i am trying to impact sio kwao tu lakini to the whole market but also one day preferably the whole nation because i believe ni personal responsibility pamoja na kila kitu it is up to you kuchukua hiyo story yako ambapo kuifikia na kuamua kuchukua ni story ya kukandamizwa au kuwa mtu baki na kuiamua kuibadilisha so co foundation ya watu baki ni utu kwa sababu we usually mara nyingi sana tunaongelea race Eh uh, sijui kabila si nini lakini one thing that we forget race kabila sijui all these groups kanisa si nini one thing that we usually forget kinachochilala chini ya hivyo vitu vyote ni utu kwa sababu kabila race kanisa si nini they are all sex they are whole human experiences ni 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 ni, ni experiences za kibinadamu kwa hiyo binadamu kwangu mimi ndo foundation kwa hiyo utu ni kumwona mtu kwa potential ambayo tunaweza tukasema Mungu ali intend na kuiona jamii kwa engo hiyo. So so mimi kama mtubaki wa kujipa sasa namba moja inabidi ujipe because otherwise <laughs> ukishasema kuna mtubaki namba moja mwingine mm. then you are not very responsible. <laughs> so so mimi ya kwangu ni ku lead by example kuwa mtubaki namba moja um, kwa maana ya kwamba okay mimi tunasema hivi wakuu and mimi nafikiri inafanyika and this is me this is me mimi ndo huyu i am giving myself najitoa nafanya hii sasa tuende kwa sababu hii ya kwamba fata maneno yangu sifate matendo mm. it only goes so far yes una mtoto hapana mkuu ambaye unamjua wala usingizio na uhakika sana sasa huyu unakwenda unataka ni nini aje kuelezea mambo <laughs> Ni swali tu simple Ka, lakini kama una maelezo hatuna shida tunaweza tukayachukua. Hapana mkuu, hapana. Sina mtoto, sina Wivu. Mm. Hmm. Uh, kuna aina nyingi za wivu. Okay. Lakini kuna issue ya wivu na kuna issue ya insecurities pia. Okay? E, kibinadamu sio wote na tumumbe Mwenyezi Mungu asituweke huko. <laughs> Mtu akiona unafanya kitu kama ambacho yeye anafanya mm-hmm. eh kwa mfano yeye ndo alianza kufanya mpaka okay. kuona unakuja ukataka kufanya unafanya kama cha kwake mm-hmm. anaweza akawa na wivu mm-hmm. kama hana 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 upeo mkubwa mm-hmm. au hajajishiba au hajajiamini akafanya kila kinachowezekana kukuzuia wewe usiweze kufanya iko kitu katika maisha yako umeshae kukutana na kitu kama hiko na unadhani ambacho nakwambia kipo au mimi na imagine kipo na na i guess kila binadamu <coughs> at some point tunakuwa guilty of that na sometimes naita wivu wa maendeleo lakini <laughs> maloni <laughs> wivu yeah um i uh, personally nime struggle na hiyo sasa unajua stand up comedy bana unasimama wewe peke yako it is one of it's like things. tennis mimi look at me yeah. you understand kwa hiyo kwa hiyo kuna kuna hiyo ya kwamba ni wewe na wewe ni wewe um, sasa kwa mimi ilinisumbua mpaka nilipokuja kugundua kitu kimoja and i, I hope every person uh, ataipata hii nayo pia because it's, ita, ita inaweza ikasaidia you see hiyo inatokana na kutoelewa i think kwangu personally ilikuwa kutokuelewa maana ya personal story ya kwako yani wewe na hadithi yako we mwenyewe ya maisha we often think watu wanapenda au wanatupenda kutokana 
na maujanja fulani yani kwamba da ujamaa huyu anavu yani sio anavuongea sio mfano mzuri yani jamaa na because amesimama kwenye ile platform ndo anapendwa au because um, sijui anashutiwa na kamera nzuri ndo anapendwa but at, at the essence of it watu wanajitafuta wao ndani yako na mtu kujitafuta yeye ndani yako sio issue ya wewe kwani kila mtu anachekesha amna yeye anajitafuta ndani yako kwa maana ya kwamba story ya kwako wewe na yeye anavojisikia yeye story yake yeye kuna kitu ameke recognize na sababu uzuri wa Mungu alivotuumba ni kwamba binadamu ukishamwambia tu kuna mtu anataka kitu fulani binadamu tayari automatically tunaanza this that tunataka kujua kilichoendelea you understand <laughs> kwa mfano baba ni deo alikuwa anafanya hiki afu anaenda hapa ehe kikatokea nini every person is paying attention to that question ukisimulia story yako kwa sababu hauko we mwenyewe huku duniani watu watapenda tu kwa sababu the story is the same wewe ni mtu fulani unataka kitu fulani umejaribu ukashindwa ukabadilika ikawa hivi ndio kila kitu kila movie huku duniani kila story ya mtu maarufu yote huku duniani ni kitu hicho hicho sasa hiyo sio kitu ambacho unajaribu wewe unatakiwa kukireplicate unatakiwa tu kipersonalize unatakiwa kukiindividualize mimi sasa nyinyi mnasema wewe unachekesha wewe Dave Chappelle wewe ukatoka katoka Marekani huyo huyo wa Washington DC kuna huyu sasa huyu mchizi yeye kaanza ifakala huko and the story means two different things kwa mfano ukimfuatilia Dave Chappelle sasa hivi one of the stories ambayo inamfanyisha mpaka labda alipo hizo milioni 60 na nini the, the, the spotlight and enjoy ni kupitia na yeye story yake kipindi kile amesimamia misimamo yake ambao muda mwingi tungemwona kicha amesimamia misimamo yake kwamba bana mimi kuna kitu fulani na kiamini sitafanya wakakoluzana eh eh e. sasa hivi dunia ilipofika watu wanasema ah kuna mtu ameshaipitia tatizo kama hili hmm. na huyo mtu anazungumza so with him labda kwa mfano utaona ni struggle ya msanii na biashara yani corporates multinationals ambazo zina deal yani the the, the 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 entertainment industry in the sense of biashara na msanii kumbe wewe ukitaka story hiyo unamwangalia Dave Chappelle lakini labda mimi ni ya kwangu ni nyingine ambayo una utamu wewe mwenyewe ujui hiyo story inaenda wapi mimi ya kwangu tu ninachojua ilipoanzia so i just keep telling that story and people fall in love with that watu watapenda hiyo na ndio maana hakuna mtu anapendwa na watu wote bana kuna mwingine akaniangalia mimi akasema huyu ndio anaongea ki sifa spuni <laughs> <laughs> yani hata mimi nifanyeje ni mpaka yafikie hapo. So, wivu unakuja kwa kutokuelewa that story uliopewa maisha yako it is unique to you. Na umpewa na Mungu, yani sio bahati mbaya. It is unique to you. It is upon you to transform it unavotaka wewe. And if you tell it, watu watasikiliza. Kwa hiyo mimi sioni kama kuna haja ya wivu. Tutakuwa tu tunachelewa mkuu. Mm. Very nice. Sasa uh, mtu kuweza kui Ku, kuamini hivi <laughs> ndo shida lakini it's very simple it's everywhere kwani hii setup ambayo imefanywa hapa haiwezi kufanyika sehemu nyingine naweza kufanyika sehemu nyingine sema tutamisi mtu anaitwa salama mimi kimwambia babangu huyo ambaye amenisomesha sheria ni kwa nafanya interview na salama alisema okay <laughs> una vitu unafanya huko mjini <laughs> Unaelewa <laughs> because we know you there is every person sort of has their own alafu unajua zinakuwa ni nyingi mimi naweza nikawa na story yangu sana wewe yule ana nyingine kwa sababu kuna events ukaona wewe hajaona mimi ni mimi mimi kwa sababu nipo ifakara wewe nimeanza kuna mwisho ni mwisho na sababu hata tv sisi nao antenna cdish tulichelewa kunua kwa hiyo planet bongo inaishia ndada na kosoa nyinyi. Yule sisi unanipata siwi. Na wamemweka salama. Eh, salama anakuangalia tu. Sioni anakuambia. So so you get what I mean? Kila mtu ana yake. So it means hata tukifanya hii setup kuna kuna peace itakosekana ambayo ni wewe. So every person can have that and also sio kila mtu watu wanafikiri tunataka kitu kimoja. Sio kila mtu anataka kitu kimoja. Hata ukiingia kwenye hiyo biashara na ufanye wewe mtu mwingine, utakuja ugundue wewe una priorities nyingine. Kushindana na mtu ni unajitesa tu bure rafiki yangu. 